in ministering on this word about he's doing it in the spirit and all that he is doing in the spirit my aggression and my sensitivity to the spirit of the Lord is being revealed to me that the spirit of God is a necessity it is something that I got to have It ain't something that you can choose to have or to have not, to do or not to do, to operate in or not to operate in. It is a necessity. One of the things that makes it a necessity, and I just feel the responsibility of God today no people say sometimes that the Lord spoke to me and the Lord said this and the Lord said that and God said starts getting a little bit more deeper when you lay down to go to sleep and you dream the word When you lay down and you go to sleep and you dream the word. That's like God saying, you going to have this. Even if your conscious mind tries to reject it. I'm going to put it down in your sleep. I'm going to do you like I did, Adam. When I get ready to pull a miracle out of you, I'm going to have to put you to sleep. And that's when I recognize that in the building today, he's going to pull something that the world has never seen out of somebody because he had to put the prophet to sleep to give me the word. I don't take that for granted. And it's almost like right before the Lord gets ready to do what he's going to do, right before the manifestation of what is already taking place in the realm of the spirit come to pass. It's almost as if the Lord says, now I have some minor details that I don't want you to forget. And there's some things that you got to, that you got to walk in while you in this realm of the spirit. When I said the other week, and I wanted to make it clear to people when I said that this spirit of God is coming. You all can take your seats. This spirit of God is coming for two kinds of people. It is coming to resurrect the dead and give knowledge to the living. To the weak, I heard that one in my dreams. To the weak, he increases strength. And so what causes us, stay with me, stay with me. What causes us to believe God as this thing begins to unravel in me. And I was preaching on Thursday and Friday in Connecticut and it began to unravel in me of how if we don't begin to introduce the Spirit of God to the people of God, we will be 
guilty of causing the people of God to be stuck in one realm about God. When I say one realm, I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. I want you to, when I said one realm, I was, I, was, I was telling the people while I was on the floor, and it just hit me. I, I can't even, it just it came up out of my spirit. I said, we are people that are constantly saying, praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we, we, we glorify your name. And, 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 and we've been said that the highest praise, mother, is a hallelujah praise. And we've been, we've, been, we've, been, we've been told that through the scripture, man of God, that when we say hallelujah, it's a, it's a, it's a heightened praise, woman of God. And so we often say that when we praise the Lord and we say thank you, Jesus, that that is us giving praise to the name of God. And so for that reason, we have spent many, 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 many years saying, Lord, we thank you and thank you, Jesus. But when I began to read Isaiah, the 11th chapter, and it began to talk about the seven spirits of God and how God is, is wisdom and he is knowledge and he is, and he is a spirit of counsel and he is a spirit of mind and he's a spirit of understanding and he's a spirit of the reverential fear of God and he's a spirit of obedience. And I'm saying that if when we open up our mouths that life and death is in the power of the tongue and when we call Jesus, it says when we call Jesus, Jesus that that Jesus show up and when we say hallelujah the heavens open up to us then why is nobody saying wisdom no why why is nobody glorifying God for his wisdom and for his knowledge and for his might and for his counsel and maybe that's why we are minimized in the things that are necessity for us to operate in the spirit because we don't call on them as we need them and there is such a my God, there is such a need. There is such a need because we call on the name of Jesus and we glorify God, but we have almost made it some type of mystical, uh, mischievous something that that you just feel it when you're in the atmosphere. We act as if this power don't have intelligence and this power doesn't have discernment and this power doesn't have knowledge. And so we have related the power of God to just being in the church and jumping and shouting and that is the reason why many of us that jump and shout don't have kingdom positions. Don't have kingdom positions. And I dreamed about Job. I dreamed about Job. And I was saying, but why has God got me dreaming about Job? Why am I dreaming about Job? And I dreamed about Job, and in the dream, I was dreaming that in Job's own mind, he was all that he thought he could be for God. In, jo in Job's own mind, he was offended that anybody would think otherwise. In Job's own mind, he had more than anybody and he, he, he thought he was the stuff. <laughs> and so people start asking Job, well, 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 what have you done to sin against God? And then the dream said to me, his sin was he didn't let me finish. What Job had was not my finish. And in his mind, he got finished. In his mind, he had come to the end of who he thought he was. There's a danger, there's a real danger when you start letting people compliment you about who you think you are. There's a, there's a, there's a real danger when people start telling you how powerful you are and how, and how, oh, you just this and you just that and, and you just were anointed. You know, there's a real danger when, when, when people find themselves only wanting to be surrounded by people that's going to glorify and heighten who you think you are because a danger in that is that you allowing a human being to make you think that God is finished with you. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me and I'm here to tell you that God has not even just begun to do what he's going to do on the inside of you until God begin to dig in a place that you won't let nobody else touch until God begin to use people to say stuff to you about you that you don't like. Oh my God I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. 
neighbor and say, he just got started. <laughs> no, no, y'all didn't even say that like you meant it. I said, touch your neighbor and say, he just got started. <laughs> Tell him, say, God just got started with you. No, no, God just got, oh, shut up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down. In my dream, Gerard, in my dream, in my dream, in my dream, Job's friends was around him telling him. At first they were saying to him how wonderful he was and how rich he was and how, and how beautiful his kids was and all the money he had and all the talent he had and, and why he was considered uh, being the greatest around and they, were, and, they, and, they were, and they were giving him all of these accolades until in my dream the scripture came up, I promise y'all, the scripture came up in my dream and it said but his friends had no answer in them and God began to tell me. He said, when you get to church, tell the people to watch their friends. Because when you got a friend and your friend can't speak, something in your spirit that causes you to be agitated, that roots something out of you that God has been after, your friends don't have the answer. because the heart listen to me listen, the heart the heart from the book of Ezekiel that says I'm going to take out of you the heart of stone and I'm going to put in you a heart of flesh and this heart that I'm going to put in you is going to be the kind of heart that is going to obey me and submit to me and hear me God I just said something right there and the reason why your friends don't have the answer for your heart my God because the Bible said only the spirit of God know how to search the deep things of the heart and pull out stuff that you've been hiding my God I'm not getting nobody to talk to me and a lot of times we feel like when there is a confrontation or there is a misunderstanding or spirit of agitation with another person we have been trained by the religious institution to call that warfare yeah ha, ha, we've been trained to call it warfare but in my dream the Lord said when I'm ready to smack two I put them together and put them at odds with each other so the mess in them and the mess in her can come out at the same time I'm not here nobody talk to me right now I'm not here nobody to talk to me right now we forget that the spirit of God is not just for miracles for the eyes to see and the lame to walk who am I talking to the oh my God the charge of the spirit from heaven now is to purify your heart purify your mind clean Pastor Coco Thomas, people, people want the spirit, but they don't want the spirit to do his job. Ooh. Oh, no, no, somebody better say something right there. No, 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 we want the spirit, but we don't want the spirit to do his job. Because we want to walk around and be fake in church. We want to be, we want to be fake Christians. That's why I told you, it ain't no place to hide in here. Uh-huh, because we can't hide in our choir because we ain't got one. No, ma'am, you can't hide on the praise team. Uh, no, 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 you can't sing us up to glory and make us think that you something that you're not. Who am I talking to? Because the Bible said that the Spirit of God in this hour, He is desiring that we have truth uh, and let that truth uh, be in your inward part, in your Wait a minute, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. The book of Revelation. Go to the book of Revelation. Cause we we don't even. Mm. Go to the book of Revelation. 
because we're in the falsehood of the love of God. We're in the falsehood of the love of God. But well, the Lord loves me and the Lord, the Lord told me that he loved me and, and God cares about me and he loves me. We're in the falsehood of God. And, and that's why we are in the falsehood of the love for our children and we are in the falsehood of the love for each other as sisters and brothers in the kingdom. That's why, that's why, that's why the whole makeup is a, is, a, is a false love. And how do I know that it's a false love? Because it can't endure nothing. It can't withstand nothing. It can't operate anything. I'm not hearing y'all talking about it ain't got no love. Love in it. it ain't got no patience in it. I'm not hearing nobody. It don't have consistency in it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It don't step along with each other. Uh huh. It doesn't carry each other's burdens. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. No man. We use each other to gossip and call it spiritual prayer and to say I'm just going up to tell my sister so she can pray. My God. No, it's a false love. It's a false love. And the reason why it's a false love. Be- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because the scripture said. In the book of Revelations, those that I love, I tell them their faults. No, I didn't hear nobody talk to me right there. Love ain't God giving you a car. Love ain't God giving you a house. Love is when God tells you that your attitude stinks. Love is when God tells you that rebellion is in you. Love is when God tells you that you're and you think you spiritual but you religious because obedience haven't been birthed in you love is when God tell you that you got your ears open to too much junk that's why you can't get to your destiny that's love Oh wait, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, when I saw this and in my dream, when God began to deal with Job, he had to find somebody that didn't have an allegiance to Job and his stuff in order to tell them what the real truth was. Uh Job, there was a little boy that stood off to the side and he said, I knew what God was saying, but all your friends was around you. And because they were older than me, uh you didn't want to listen to me. He said, but you know what? Uh, I'm not going to be scared to tell you the truth. Uh, And I don't care if you don't like me. Uh, The reason why you in the place that you in uh, is because you think you something. Uh, The reason why you in the place that you in uh, is because you think you got a monopoly on God. Let me hit that right there. What am I talking about? I'm talking about people that walk around so spiritual that you think everybody else around you is stupid uh, and that you're the only one that God is talking to. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. And when you get like that, uh, then God takes pleasure uh, in knocking your head off. Uh, God takes pleasure up uh, in allowing something up uh, to be dug up out of you uh, to show you I'm not finished with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sit down. Cause I, Lord, I'm hitting something right here. I feel it in my, I feel it in my Noah. I'm hitting something right here. I'm hitting something. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait on God right here. Cause I feel something. Uh-huh, I'm picking something up. I'm picking something up. And I'm gonna tell you how you know, how you know when your spirit, how, how you know when your spirit is in rebellion against God. Because when your spirit is in rebellion against God, then the spirit of witchcraft is cloaked to you. And every witch that comes attaches themselves to you. Every warlock that comes attaches themselves to you. If you ever wondered why people keep walking up to you, talking about can I pray for you? It's because they connected to the week is linked up. It's because there's something about you uh, that haven't surrendered up to the power of God. Uh, Who am I talking to? Because the Bible said uh, that my God uh, shall supply uh, all of 
because I'm hitting something right here. Sit down because I'm hitting something right here. I ain't going to stop on this right here. I ain't going to stop on here. Uh-huh. Because it's called a connection. It's called a connection. And people don't understand that. And they think that they done found somebody to support them. Oh, come on here, somebody. They think it's a connection, but it ain't no connection. Because anybody that comes to comfort you when you know, when you know you a liar, when you know you a gossiper, when you know you sleeping around, when you know your life ain't cleaned up, when they come and telling you what a powerful person you are, you better start running up. Because when God sends a real prophet, he's sending that person up because it's time for God to get to the destiny. And in order for God to do it, he got to clean you out. He got to clean your mind. He got to make you shut your mouth. He got to stop your ears. Who am I preaching to? Everybody better start shouting right there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The scripture said in Job 32 and 7 and 8 it said, and there is a vital force of intelligence in man. I said, what has that got to do with Job being healed? He said there is a vital force of intelligence in man and he began to say to me that the power to get people free who is in the fact that they refuse to use the intelligence that's on the inside of them I'm not hearing y'all talk to me no ma'am you rather somebody walk up to you and blow on you and say there it is well I'm here to make an announcement there it's not because if your problem is a character problem, when they get you blowing up, you're going to still have to get up off the floor and work your life until you come into the order of the world. Wait. Yeah, he said I wasn't going to get a lot of amens today. He said that. Uh-huh, he said that. I guess I believe him now. Oh, I guess I believe him. Mm -hmm. He said, wait, 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 wait. I went to something and it just, and it, and it almost knocked me over. It almost knocked me over when I saw this. He said, when you looking at people and you thinking, who, Jesus, uh -huh, we got time to find it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes God when you looking at people he said this is not the hour to be all up in Adam because there is a lot of demonstration that people are bringing forth he said because what I'm going to use to mount people up is the inward the inward the inward truth that they know about themselves Somebody better say something right there. Somebody better say something right there. He said, watch this, the inward truth that he would use to mount people up. I said, okay. 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 You talking about? You talking about inward truth? Inward truth where? In, 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 in what part of me am I to hear this inward truth? He said, because when I speak it and there is no connection to it in your spirit and the first thing that happens is that you get mad instead of getting grateful. Ooh, I'm 
I'm teaching today. Then you just got your spirit exposed. No, I'm not gonna get no amen today because he already told me that. So I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher like I'm preaching to myself and by myself. He said when when when, when there is correction and the first thing that happens is that you get upset or you get angry. And wait a minute, and let me and let me let me hit this kind of, of, of being upset. You know the worst kind is a kind that says I receive it and then go behind your back and talk about you like a dog because you're mad. Jesus said Jesus said that the prince of this world cometh but he finds none of him in me in other words he says stuff gonna come to me but it don't find a connection oh I'm not here nobody talk to me see we gonna get a real church to be birthed out in the kingdom when people come to you and you get rebuked and she didn't have to talk to you like that huh? and you say shut your mouth huh? and get away from me huh? because the Bible said Lord have mercy I'm not hearing nobody talk to me because a scripture said huh? in the book of Proverbs huh? that when a strong blow comes up huh? and it wounds you huh? it rushes out evil huh? that is in your heart huh? who am I talking to I'm not hearing y'all talk to me and I'm not going back up huh? and if you don't want to be corrected huh? there's four doors huh? suppose the correction of the Lord for greatness is supposed to wound you uh, why can't get nobody say nothing why can't get nobody say nothing the correction of the Lord is supposed to make you cry but you better cry with the right spirit uh, you better cry with a yes Lord uh, in your soul because guess what uh, the Holy Ghost said you better consider it uh, the favor of God that he's even looking in your direction. Who do you think you are? That God got to talk to you. Who do we think we are? That God got to teach you. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. You better be glad that God is blowing in your direction. You better be glad that God is knocking your head off. Because what that says is God is snatching you up from the hands of the enemy. Somebody better start shouting right now. sit down because I said I said start shouting and some of y'all act like I said praise the Lord I didn't say praise the Lord I said start shouting wait 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 wait, wait. and the reason why he said shout 
reading this scripture in the book of Galatians he sent me to Galatians this morning the third chapter in the 23rd verse let me show you something and it says and it said and it said touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor get your spirit right get your spirit right get your spirit right here shall I see ya Tell your neighbor, say, get your spirit right. Tell them, say, God's preaching to you today. Get your spirit right. Get your spirit, Lord Jesus. Pastor Coco Thomas came to me a couple of Sundays ago and he said to me, he said, Dr. Bynum, I was standing in the back and he said, Dr. Bynum, I got one of these cards. Somebody gave me a card that they told me to give it to you. I said, I don't want that card. He said, well, I, well, I, I, I said, but well, what kind of card is it? And he said, they passing out a card and I see him passing them out to certain people. I said, but I don't want them. And when everything came into revelation and God said, reveal it, he said he was going to reveal it all. He said, everybody that took a card, uh, there's a spirit of witchcraft in you. Everybody that took one, uh, uh -huh, there's something that the devil is after in your life. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me because when you can let a witch walk up to you, when you can let a warlock walk up to you, and somebody said, well, how do you know it's a warlock? Because a witch does their thing, uh, but a warlock gathers people. Uh, uh -huh, a warlock don't stop uh, until they gather a group of people. Uh, who am I? I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. I wish somebody would say something and Now, I speak to your spirit. 
was watching some. Sit down. I was watching some on TV. I was watching some on TV, and what I was watching was there was a show about kids being kidnapped, and the lady was sitting there, and it was a wealthy neighborhood, and the Caucasian woman was sitting there. And the newsman was talking to her and she said, no, not my daughter, because we've had training sessions, because me and her father have taken her to sessions, and even from our neighborhood that we live in, that'll never happen. And the newsman said, are you sure that'll never happen? She said, I'm positive. That'll never happen to my baby because she she already knows that we've already trained her. And the newsman said, well, while you talking, I want you to look over your shoulder because a kidnapper that we hired is putting your baby in the car right now. And that's when God brought that back to me. He said, you better be careful when you walk in this warehouse that you ain't hyping these people up, that you ain't thinking that they got it with their intellect, but they spirit up. Really don't hear what I'm saying. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I just wish I had somebody to hear me. He said, because some of these people, this is their last chance. He said, because some of these people, I'm trying to rescue them before the devil snatch their mind. Some of these people, I'm trying to save their life before the devil kill them. This, listen, let me tell you something. This ain't no church. This is a hospital. This ain't no church. This is a rescue center. And if you're in this building, you better open your mouth and start shouting. God, don't pass me by. This is to the people that says, this is to the people that says, you don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do. This is to the people, let me say this. Hold my Bible on. Just on. This is to the people that say, you don't tell me what to do. Because what, what you don't understand, is that some of us operate with control devils. Uh, some people operate with control devils. You know, they'll, 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 they'll go off about stuff. You know, oh, who they know they can get away with it with. Cause see, wouldn't nobody threw no ink in at me. I want you to know that, okay? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Some people operate with control devils. Uh -huh, and they show out. Uh, Y'all ain't, ain't saying nothing. Because the spirit of brokenness is not happening yet. Uh -huh. The spirit, the spirit of kindness is not broken yet. You got people that'll be kind to me and talk to each other like a dog because you know what the spirit of kindness ain't in you. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. Even in this WWWS mess. Uh -huh. I'm getting ready to talk about it. Uh -huh. You grin in our face. Uh -huh. But you got a nasty attitude. Uh -huh. You talk about each other like a dog. You got your spirit open the mess. And God told me to come after it all today. Uh -huh. Come after it all. Uh -huh. Today. I'm not here nobody talk to me. He talking to everybody in here that pretend to be each other's friend and then sell you out because you don't want to be submitted to. You want to be in. I'm not here nobody talk to me. Some of y'all can't submit because you think submission is being on the inside when for submission is getting under. Somebody tell you to do something They tell me I don't feel led I didn't ask you if you felt led I said sit down I didn't ask you what you felt I'm not here nobody talk to me When you submit yourself Cause y'all think this 
me, this ain't me, this is God talking. The reason why he giving me authority to preach it because the scripture said you cannot bring correction if you are under the spirit of offense. So I ain't offended by none of y'all. But I ain't gonna change this warehouse. I'm not gonna change it for not one person in here. And before, and before we change, we will be done change another color. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me because I don't know y'all be listening, but I'm sick of fakeness. I'm sick of fake church. I'm sick of people that just let you come in church and lift your hands up and let you praise God like you ain't just been hoeing the night before. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. I'm sick of fake church where you standing next to people that you done just dogged out yesterday. Who am I talking to in this place? And God is saying it's time to clean it up and clean it up for real. And watch what come out of your mouth uh, And get your spirit right uh, Because there is no such thing uh, As I didn't mean to say it uh, Because the Bible said Out of the abundance uh, Of the heart, the mouth Speak, you speak junk Because you full of it said he said I desire to know wisdom but then this part got me the scripture said but now make me to know wisdom I desire to know truth uh-huh but when I hear the truth now make me to know wisdom make me to know after you tell me that I talk too much that the people that I keep talking with is not good for me. Oh, I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing. Because see, people want to say, but well, then, but well, then, what do you mean? What do you mean by, by, by uh, the seven spirits of God? The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the reverential fear of the Lord, and the spirit of the reverential fear and the obedience of God. When they got to that part, he said, now you ready to finish teaching on the seven spirits of God because you get to the point where it says, it says in Galatians 3 and 23, it says, now before the faith came, before you ever got your whole shot. Uh -huh. Come on now. <laughs> before your Hika Messiah ever hit you. Before you ever spoke in tongues, period. Before you even knew that you could speak in tongues. It said that before the faith came, we were perpetually guarded under the law, kept in custody in preparation for the faith that was destined to be revealed, unveiled, and disclosed. Which means when I tell you to sit down and shut your mouth and you don't have the faith to believe that I'm telling you to do the right thing until you get the real faith, sit down and shut your mouth. Because what obedience does, it's a guard around you. It's putting you in custody because you ain't got enough wisdom by yourself. So when I say come to church at 12 o'clock and you're not here, you are unguarded and you are faithless. Why? Because you just went into rebellion. Therefore, witchcraft got you on the way to 
church. No, I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I'm not hearing nobody say nothing. It said religion. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But now that the faith has come, we are no longer under the trainer, the guardian of our childhood. When faith comes, what does that mean? I believe God, not your way, this way. What do you mean, prophets, when faith comes? Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Well, how do I believe? Believe is not a feeling. I don't know who told you that. Believe is not a, the same she said to us, believe, believe ain't a feeling. I looked up the word believe. The word believe is a fact that you come to stand on after you've done your research. So when I do my research and I find out that God is able to heal me, then there will be days I don't feel healed. But the reason why I'm still able to stand in faith is because in my research, I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. So that's what's wrong with a lot of us. Uh, we doing a whole lot of jumping and shouting, but we ain't got no research in us. And that's why the first time the devil bring you something, he knocks your head off. And then you don't come to church. And then don't nobody see you. And then you fall back in the rest of the mess that it took God 20 years to bring you out of. Because you didn't have no research. Because you didn't take time. To study up, to show yourself approved unto God. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So when the devil says you're going to die, let me go back in my computer. And let me go back and dig up my research. And my research says, since you want to bring that to me today, Mr. Devil, then I want to bring this one back to you if I die. Uh-huh, the man I serve, he calls back from the dead. Uh-huh, uh-huh, oh, I'm not hearing nobody talk. See, there y'all go, there y'all go, there y'all go. There y'all go right there. I'm trying to give you, I'm trying to help you dig your research up. Uh-huh, when the devil says that you're depressed. Uh-huh, you can turn around and say, that's right, because my faith is not my feelings. Uh, and yes, I may not feel good, uh, but I'm going to still hold on to what I know God is saying. Who am I talking to in this place? And when you are, uh, if you ain't never got to the place uh, that you ain't able to stand up, uh, show you some. Just give me two minutes. Give me two minutes to show you this. Give me two minutes to show you this. Hey, shala boho sudo do do ho. Kida da da bo shada maha. Oh, yes. See, I hear some smart people in here. Because if you was real smart, round about now, while this presence was in here, you would be saying, God, get the dumbness off of me right quick. God, get it off me. Mm -hmm. While I'm digging for this scripture, you would be praying right now saying, God, uh -huh, while your spirit of deliverance is in the atmosphere, God, clean my mind up, clean my spirit up. God, don't let the devil keep seducing me. Don't let me keep on being kidnapped from your will. God, I just said something like that. See, if you was real smart, you would go into your own realm right now because I wouldn't let the moment pass me by because there's some stuff that God done told you that he's getting ready to do in your life. And if you don't get the power of wisdom and the power of understanding, you're going to miss God. And so if you was real smart right now, while this anointing is in the room and I'm looking for this scripture, you would be praying out of your spirit. You would be crying out to God. Don't pass me by. Give me a new mind. Create in me, God, a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Oh, God, wash me. Make me clean. Put away evil from my mind. Oh, God, wash my mouth. Oh, God, wash my eyes. Oh, God, purify me. Give me a new heart. Give me a new spirit. Give me a new mind. Somebody come on and pray.
this because I don't want nobody to say this is me talking. I don't want nobody to say this is just prophet is just talking. This ain't me talking. In Proverbs, the 20th chapter and the 30th verse, it said blows, Chris, that wound cleanse away evil and strokes for correction reaches to the innermost part. Blows that wounds cleanses away evil and strokes for correction reach to the innermost part. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. He ain't through, he ain't through, he ain't through. He, ain't through. he talk, he talk. Uh -huh, he been talking. He talked today. I shall have all see you. He shall have all son. Who see that I was shall? It says, buy the truth and sell it not. Not only that, but also get discernment and judgment and instruction and understand and when I looked at that I said okay God I said so what's going on he said what you are seeing before your very eyes in the kingdom is the place that the body of Christ have not yet exalted the people to Pastor Kathy in 20 years that I know that I've been preaching he said I've been trying to get the body of Christ see they in that most people been in that say me Lord I just thank you God for your goodness I just thank you for your mercy and I just thank you for your love and kindness he said but the reason why it seemed like everybody just fumbling and bumping into each other and it looked like the body of Christ don't know which way to go so everybody's starting to go backwards uh-huh I just said something right there Everybody starting to go backwards and starting to go back and do dumb stuff. Stuff that they, they know better than to do. Stuff that, stuff that wasn't even them no more. You know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Starting to act like your old crazy self. Uh -huh. Because you come to the place now where God want to split you open. Uh -huh. You done came to the place now where everything that's been hiding down in you ugly, God want it out. And the thing that happens is the minute God allows us to see your ugliness, you run. Because then you say that's warfare against me. And don't nobody like me. No, this is what we need to be pursuing for. Our pursuit in the kingdom is that God split me open so that somebody can see what is hindering me from being who you've called me to be. I'm not, I need somebody to tell God, split me open, God. You need to say it again. to say when I was preaching many years ago the people would be praising God in 5 a.m. prayer and 5 a.m. prayer would start at 5 and around about 6 30 I could feel the people getting weary and I used to shout and tell the people now these are the ones that count the ones where you say I can't praise them no more these are the ones you get paid for because because these are your sacrifice of praise this is the moment where God flips you over out of your flesh and the spirit of praise take you over. You understand what I'm saying? And when I was just preaching a few seconds ago, he said, now this is the lifestyle they want. This is the one that you should be shouting about. The Bible said that when you get split open and somebody tell you that you ugly, oh, that's the one you should say, thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you. You really see I'm ugly? Oh God, I'm a change, I'm a change right now. He said, this is the praise that he been waiting on from the body of Christ because I can't take you to the kingdom because you'll embarrass me. So he said in the church today, tell the people that when I notify them that I see they fault, begin to bless me because it's going to be your indication that I got plans for you, that I got a position for you, that I got a level for you, I got a 
I just heard this. And I know that's why we, we don't call this no church. That's why we don't say it's a church. Baby, we, we say it's a movement. Because we moving. But I just heard in the spirit. When y'all started praising God. Unbeknown to me. I heard people saying. Lord, I thank you. Because they say I got a bad attitude. God, I th they was praising God like. God, I praise you because I'm ugly. And you done found it. God, I glorify you. Because I'm sneaky. And they done told me I'm sneaky. God, God I thank you because my attitude stinking somebody somebody told me uh -huh, so, uh -huh, so the spirit of the Lord said for the next three or four seconds you need to praise him because you done found yourself and the Bible said that they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth that means be honest God I'm nasty God I'm ugly but I stand before you today right there right there look at how the amens and the praise of the Lord got real thin uh-huh wait a minute I'm gonna show you something by example you see how when you start shouting all that how the praise just got kind of kind of thin did everybody notice that how in a few seconds Everybody kind of just start stopping. How many people recognize that? How many people did take note of that? Raise your hand. If you, if you just took note that when I had everybody shouting about their ugliness, how the praise got thin. You know what God just said to me? He said, now that's proof that all the stuff you do, it brings me no glory. Uh -huh, that's proof that ain't no longevity in it. Uh -huh, that's proof that if you don't stop lying, you ain't gonna last. 